Seeing this frenzy of friendly nurse sharks near the surface is a wondrous sight. But snorkeling in the emerald waters with them is an exhilarating experience as they swim unperturbed in their natural habitat. Visitors from all over the world come here to Shark Ray Alley in the Hol Chan Marine Reserve to snorkel and dive with these surprisingly sociable sharks. It's one of the main attractions in the reserve. The recreational site for Hol Chan, which is easiest to explain, is about four miles south of from Ski. The reserve in 2015 expanded, so currently the reserve itself is not only south of Ambergiski, but we also have portions of the reserve to the north on the eastern side, and the entire western portion of Ambergiski is a part of the Holchan Marine Reserve. At Shark Ray, people can, are able to get very up and close with within their sharks. They are sharks, they are true sharks, however, they are not as aggressive as other species, so um, people have we do allow people to get in and snorkel with them and get up close. Most people visit the reserve for the channel. It's a small break in the um, reef. It's actually Mayan for a little channel. And so we have a large biodiversity or fish population. They are amazing. Um, I will brag to say that you can't see it anywhere else in any of the other parks. It's hard to argue with that after seeing it yourself. There are several species of fish in the reserve, from groupers, snappers, to jacks and barracuda, among others. Aside from their fishery resources, they're also known for their healthy corals, seagrass beds, and mangrove ecosystems. Castillo says their effective management and monitoring plan, along with several community-based educational programs, have contributed to the reserve's rich and healthy marine life. One of the things that we pride ourselves on is that we've had, while it's not a perfect system, we have relatively good um, enforcement and good management. We do a lot of education and outreach programs to try and encourage compliance, to try and encourage guides to take care of the area. We're one of the most visited marine parks in the country, in the country yes. So we have lots of, you know, we have on a busy, busy day, you can have 100 people visiting the park. But there are certain rules and regulations that have been put in place in order to safeguard the area, in order to um, conserve the biodiversity, the coral cover, to ensure that it's there to sustain the community in the long run. We have several different education and outreach programs. So we go into the communities, we work with the schools. Um, we also do research, so we monitor the corals, we monitor the health of the fish. We're looking, we do a lot of things with conch and lobster. We also monitor sea turtle, look at the sea turtle population for the area. And the Hull Chan Marine Reserve managers are working on a five-year plan to enhance the reach of their community work and the effectiveness of their management system. One new feature of this plan is 24-hour surveillance at the reserve, which they activated a couple months ago. Hull Chan is one of the sites a lot of tours are run to, so it has an economic impact to the Ambergiski itself. It's very important to the tourism industry here on the island. So we want to ensure that we, are, as managers, are doing a good job. So this new pl the plan will help us to stay focused as we move forward in the next five years. Um, apart from that one of our management strategies has been is we've increased our surveillance at the site. So we now have 24 hour surveillance. So rangers are there all night, which is something that's new that we've never had before. It's an evolving management plan for a reserve that constantly faces new challenges above and below the surface. We are interested with a great heritage for the country. We're interested with protection of this area. So we have to do our part. <laughs> to ensure that you know it works and it functions reporting for 7 news i'm courtney weatherburn